But my dad would open that door at 17. You better make that bus stop. You don't make that bus stop, you better get abducted. <laughs> yeah, that was the only valid tardy excuse in our house, man. If I was late for school, I'd better show up with two cops and a guy handcuffed to an ice cream truck. <laughs> They're so huge, and I'm not just saying this for their health, but as a parent, you can now get put in jail if your kid gets too fat. Yep, woman in North Carolina got put in jail because her son got a little fat. Well, he was 555 pounds. That's not a little fat. Nobody at 12 should weigh more than a jet ski. That's in the Bible. But she didn't let that happen. When the kid was nine and he was 320, he was making decisions in that house. Daniel, put down the cow. Ah! <laughs> Do we love our kids that much? I don't love my kids that much. Let them kill themselves, man. And this woman knew something was wrong with her kid when he was four. He didn't have two Domino's pizzas and go five, five, five. Did she just love him that much? Oh, my God, look at my little boy out there on the big wheel. Yeah, that's mine with the man boobs. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, he's big. He's got a thyroid thing. He's part Sharpay puppy. I don't know what it is. <laughs> he's all wrinkly now. He lost his butt crack like a year ago. I guess. <laughs> now he just kind of hosed him off and shamwow. <laughs> and I tell this story because I was a fat kid. Sixth, seventh, eighth grade, I was huge. I was good. And my dad was never nice about it. I was not his chubby buddy. <laughs> He did not give me time to find myself to my face and in front of people called me fatso and lard ass and Hindenburg, which I had to look up. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> He's insulting me historically. <laughs> we go school shopping. When you're a fat boy, there's one place in America you can shop the Sears... Husky department. I hear the pain. It's okay. Yeah, thanks, Sears, for calling it a husky. Not more to love department. I already know I have a big bulbous ass, but you put a little tag on the top of my jeans that said husky. Why don't I just point an arrow down to my big ass? Thank you, Sears, for buying my future therapist a new ski boat. And we would walk into this Sears Husky department for school clothes. And my dad was never cool, never stealth. Here's how my dad would walk me into the Sears Husky department. Because he wanted everybody to know. All right, I got a fat-ass kid. Need some fat-ass pants for his fat ass. Can I get some help, please? Yeah, just give me a like, tarp and some bungee cord. Wrap them up like a little turd burrito. Can I get some help? Dad, shut up, shut up, and tell him. No corduroy keeps wearing out the thighs. Can I get some help? <laughs> And you know what? After the third year of that humiliation, I got so pissed off and I got so angry, I started like working out and eating right, which made the dreams of stabbing him a lot more vivid. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fat kids in school. You know what? You know, it, it, and there's nobody to blame but the parents. So, I mean, come on, you're all the ones letting them eat what the fuck they want to eat. You know, uh, they're not them. Speech that I was at the other day, <clears throat> which was a great honor because I'm fixing to receive my first degree in the Freemasons. Um, <laughs> this, uh, yeah, there, there was a bunch of kids there, and I looked over at it, and it's like, Dad, how'd you get so tall, dude? Is, is your prostate? I was like, No, I ate my vegetables. <laughs> I swear these kids loaded up on vegetables when we sat down to eat. Like, no shit. <laughs> Every last one of them, just some chomping it down. And I was like, Score. <laughs> Score one for the adults. <laughs> no fatty cakes for you. Then I turn around <laughs> and Miss Lisa says, Hey, country, what you want to eat for dessert? You want pumpkin pie? You want pumpkin uh, sweet tater pie? Fucking chocolate pie? I'll take one of each. <laughs> Everybody was sitting there fucking laughing. They was like, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Dude's asking what kind of pie he wants. He wants a slice of each. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> I like my food, man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Ron, you around 170. I'm about sitting right at 300. <laughs> but six foot six, you kind of kind of hold that pretty good. So at least that's what I've been told. <laughs> uh, tactical shit video. Huh? Really? Witnesses. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> 
I got you. Ghost, did you forget to hit the unmute button? No, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm looking at a video that Smash just posted. I'm fixing the play. <laughs> you have to read the title, though. Witnesses yeah, you from the, the Navy title. dick drawing. Come on, bitch. Say it again. Witnesses from the Navy dick drawing. Oh, got a hidden there. <laughs> Colonel, you better take a look at this radar. What is it, son? I don't know, sir. But it looks like a giant dick. Yeah. Take a look out of starboard. Oh, my God. It looks like a huge... Pecker! Oh, yeah. Wait. That's not a word pecker. It looks like someone's... Private! We have reports of an unidentified flying object. It is a long, smooth shaft, complete <laughs> with two balls. What is that? That looks just like an enormous wing. Pay attention. I was distracted by that enormous flying... Willie. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> well, it looks like a giant... Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Whoever put that together, you did a good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, she's always being a naughty little lady, Ron. Come on, dude. You ain't figured that out yet. She's always fucking with y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Ron's over here saying you're being a naughty little lady there, Smashley. <laughs> you better control yourself. Austin Powers coat quote section. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Are you backing up? Ow. <laughs> no, somebody called my phone. Oh, Every time somebody calls my phone when we're on here, it kicks me out, so I gotta restart my car. <laughs> Break out the naughty boys. I don't know what you're talking about, Ryan. I really don't. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> hmm. Which one's this one? The naughty boys. But hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here goes one more for Christopher Titus. Terrorism in the news. <laughs> Ass. So I guess Al Qaeda has been outsourcing bomb making to Ringling Brothers now. <laughs> and people go, what about the Times Square incident? What about the Times Square incident? The Times Square incident was not a terrorist attack. That was a Jim Carrey movie. <laughs> The terrorist locked the keys to the safe house he was going to escape to in the car bomb. And I love that he locked the car bomb. No one's getting my iPod! <laughs> Left the keys to the car bomb hanging out of the tailgate of the car bomb and built the car bomb at a fertilizer that would not explode. I've been doing comedy 25 years and I have never been that funny. <laughs> So I guess before we got him, Osama turned the family business over to his cousin, Billy Bob Bin Laden. <laughs> Did you hear Al-Qaeda has an online magazine? I'm not making that up, man. Al-Qaeda Online. Guess what? You stop being a terrorist organization when you start raising money to fight the infidels using PayPal. <laughs> and having vodka pop-up ads. <laughs> Absolute jihad! <laughs> Goes down smooth! <laughs> define terrorist organization. A terrorist organization is an organization that keeps you scared all the time and makes you change your behavior. What does CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC do all the time? That's right. That's right. Wolf Blitzer, terrorist. Glenn Beck, terrorist. Nancy Grace, terrorist. That's right. Her and her plastic surgeon. <laughs> Terrorists don't have to work on a plan or blow us up, man. The news scares us so much, we're scared all the time. They just sit in the cave or, or the mansion in Pakistan. 
Ahmed, take off the grenade blazer. Don't, you don't have to go today. No, the 72 virgins can wait. <laughs> Glenn Beck's going to call the president the Antichrist. Watch this. <laughs> and we all know the Antichrist is Gary Coleman's wife. <laughs> She pushed a midget down the stairs. <laughs> the only news organization that is not a terrorist organization is the BBC. Because the BBC can make the worst thing sound okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the BBC. Satan has re-entered the planet. He's picking up babies in his talons, biting off their heads, and sucking out their souls. <laughs> We're in for a thousand years of darkness, all hope is lost, and now, the World Cup update. <laughs> I don't feel so bad. If you see someone with a little bit of an issue, don't turn and walk away. Go, what's up, dude? You know? So there you go. <laughs> what's up, dude? <laughs> what's up, dude? <laughs> Oh my god, did you hear about that fat Scottish fuck that went and joined ISIS and then they made him their bitch for like five years? No, I did not. Where'd you see that at? Some, uh, it was like last week or something I saw the article. Uh, and uh, so this guy left Scotland, went to join ISIS, and they actually fed him more food and made him more fat so he could get boobies. Made him dress like a woman, and then they would come in and, like, use him as their play toy. <laughs> Jesus. Sounds like I'm a like, fucking I'm like, Karma's a bitch, motherfucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Bend over, because you're taking the bomb of this! <laughs> right? Oh, and the only reason he got away is because one of the generals or some whatever the fuck they're called, one of the higher douchebag ranks or whatever became really fond of him and let him go. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. how many times did you get them fucked in the ass by that douchebag? No shit. Uh, yeah. I was about to say, maybe it was just a matter of they wore the fucking hole out. HPB <laughs> at its best. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's no test. There's no test. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck who you are. You're a fucking male. You've been with more than five people. You got HPV. And you coming out of the fucking military and whatnot, and that girl asks you if you got anything, you might as well go ahead and say yes, because there's no fucking test for it, and I guarantee you, each one of you's got it. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? Oh, HPV. <laughs> H I'm just saying. <laughs> was that like a squirrel moment? <laughs> that was a big fucking squirrel. <laughs> yeah, it like, was a big fuck? fucking squirrel. Now we're talking about HPV and sexually transmitted diseases that hey, got herpesipate. But it's the truth. There is no test for it. You know, for for the test of if a man's got HPV, you're gonna give it to a female. It's gonna happen. I'm sorry. It is. <laughs> And on that note, we'll go into a little bit of Chaos by King's Hollow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. 